Well, how do there, chums? As I, Captain Steven, today, chums, for you guys out there inside the Viewerverse, I'm going to be building a base at a trading post. Now, I don't really recommend this, people, because a lot of the time trading posts move or sink if you build anywhere near them and things go a bit squiffy. I'm in creative mode, and this is more for a sort of a creative sort of thinking, and you can give this a go if you want. I think it's quite a nice idea in principle, if the trading posts didn't move and didn't sink. But yeah, here we go, let's um, select the right item this time. Base, nice, Hossem, we'll plonk that there, and we're going to claim this base. And then we're hopefully going to build a base structure underneath one of the landing areas, and then we'd have ships landing on the roof of said landing area, which I quite like the idea of. Now I'm probably going to go for the lowest platform, so where my ship is parked currently, and I'm probably going to have to move my ship off of there but yeah you could make like uh, buildings up on stilts or all sorts of things going on underneath here or in, even under the main area you know where the galactic trade terminal is and things but i'm just going to build under here and basically i'm going to be putting in a teleporter and maybe an exocraft or something like that now because now we've got this free mode, this is the whole reason I'm doing this, is mainly because of this first piece that I'm going to place, which is extremely important. So I want to get this to snap right to the corner of the actual landing area. However, I can't set the depth, so I can't set the z-axis. So you know what, I might have to use a different way of doing this. No, because that's not going to line up perfectly. I need something to snap to the top of here. I'm going to try using this girder. Ha ha! I think we're in freaking business, people. So yeah, here we go. I need to get that dead on. Now it's really hard to tell the depth perception with this sort of camera angle. I'm going to go for this one, I'm going to go for this long one, and let's try and get it right on the corner. So this is the first initial placement, and this is the most important one. You want it to be as square on as possible. So I think that... Oh, I had it a second ago. I haven't got it now. Fudge. Okay, let's try just there. I need to rotate it a bit, I think. About there. I think that's good. Let's place that. And now let's look at it from this angle. <laughs> I think I've done it, people. There we go. So that's the most important piece, just to get that on there. Because now you can take it off of the unsnap mode and put it back to snap mode. And all your base parts are going to snap to that. Now, as long as the ground is fairly level, everything else should be pretty much on the square and level as well. And I'm putting these sort of like little trellisy bits underneath here as like a support sort of system. Yeah, I may need to use a, a thinner bit of wall there, but that's all cool. This is all looking great. This is all looking swimming. So here we go. I'm just slapping in all these windows and side panelling and stuff like that. I'm hoping that adding a few windows might add in a bit of natural light. It's going to be a bit dark under here, which means we're going to have to add in a lot of lights. And like I say, I'm in creative mode, so I can go to town with all these base parts. I don't have to really worry. A lot of my base builds I do in creative mode. It's sort of like a test in bed before I go and build the actual base in normal mode and use up all of my sort of resources. I like to test things out in creative mode, so here I am just hammering all this in. I've got the floor in now. Now I need to just put in the stairs. Now these have got a bit of a snap problem at the moment, but there we go. I've managed to do it. Awesome, and I should be able to go up into the actual doorway now and look at all this freaking vast space that I've got underneath here. Yeah, you could do all sorts in here. What I'm thinking is adding in each of my different terminals for each of my different NPCs. So I have like a little agricultural area, have myself in there, maybe the um, exocraft technician. All of them are basically going to be in there. So this is freaking ace. I missed a girder there. Look, I've got a gap. So I'm going to just stick that in there. Chicka boom! You're completed. Ha <laughs> ha! Done, delete, and done. And yeah, you can see here we've got ships still landing. So it's all working and it's all functional at current. Now, you'll probably find that the next update, it probably moves the trading post by like, you know, an nth of a degree and then none of it makes sense anymore. So I wouldn't recommend doing this. This is just an experimental sort of base. Maybe one day when Hello Games has finished updating No Man's Sky, which I hope is a millennia away. You know what I mean? Because I, I love this game. So, yeah, it's, it's probably not the best build to do, but I'm doing it anyway, just for creative purposes. Awesome. So now I need to light this little thing up, because at the moment, the lighting in here is pretty darn poor. So, yeah, let's add those in there. Nice. We've got a bit of light in there. I like a little bit of variance to my lights. Underneath those lights, 
I'm going to be adding in where the exocraft is. So I like to break areas up by the lighting and by sort of general aesthetic look. I'm putting these in. They don't snap at the moment, these things. I'm just free placing those. So that kind of looks like postage. I'm using like roof panels there as a ramp. And hopefully we'll get the Colossus in. We'll give it a go. Okay, I put it in backwards and I try to reverse it. And you can see that I got it stuck in the door. <laughs> For fuck's sake! Right, okay. Well, I managed to get the Colossus out. Let's just go park that over there. Because when you delete the actual geo bays now, it doesn't despawn the vehicles. They stay there. Which I think has been like that for some time, to be fair. But they do get in the way. There we go. I've got the Roma in. The Roma looks great where it is. Lovely job. So now I can put in my Exocraft Technician. I'll put that there, which is like one of those things that makes antimatter. Oh, this could be gnarly. If I put that outside of the wall, let's go run round and see if we can see movement outside of the actual base because I glitched it in through the wall. In fact, I didn't even glitch it. It just went straight in. You get a lot more green states on parts now. Look at that. How cool does that look from the outside? That is so freaking gnarly. I love that. <laughs> That's brilliant. I'm loving these new base parts and what can be done with them. I really am. This is this is fantastic. <laughs> awesome. Now, I, I would be half inclined to keep this base here and see how long it lasts in creative mode. But you know what? I'm looking for um, freeing up a lot of my base parts at the moment. So I'll probably just build this and delete it straight after this video, to be fair. I might build one of these in the not so distant future and actually do it in uh, normal mode, perhaps. But I'm just worried that the trading post might move and just completely mess this up but look at that i've used the trading post as a roof for this structure which is freaking ace and it looks awesome as a base and you've got all the ships landing you can hear them coming and going it's freaking excellent it's such a living and breathing place to build a base what a cool idea it's just a shame that you've got to worry that things might happen and you, you see there i've got all the trusses underneath so it's slightly raised at least none of the landscape's going to ingress in here either this looks so excellent. You know what? Leave it with me. I'm going to be putting in a few other bits and bobs and making this feel a little bit more homely. But yeah, all the way up here, you've got all these NPCs going about their daily lives as well. So you've got all these people you can interact with. What a cool place to have a base, you know? It'd be so cool if I could trust that it's going to stay in one piece, but I haven't got much faith in it lasting too long. Which is a shame, because I have built bases at Trading Post before and they've moved and it's, it's, it's got ruined. But normally it lasts for you know a good two or three updates. So here we go, I've gone to town and I've finished doing everything in here. I haven't hooked up power yet, I mean this is creative mode, so I can just enable power from the base computer if I want. So at the moment my teleporter doesn't have power. But yeah, it is looking great. I love all the movement over the back here. Looks like I've got some sort of Hadron Collider going on to actually power everything. And I've got all my refiners down here. I've got a galactic trade terminal. You can't hang them on the wall anymore, chums. They come with a freaking climbing frame. I don't know what that's all about. And we've got my little farmer dude over here. And I made this in the corner. I love this. That is so freaking sweet. I love that. Yeah, awesome. And you can just drive out there with your exocraft. So it serves a purpose. I hope you like this idea, people. I hope you do try building round structures. I mean, they don't always move. They don't always sink. They don't always go a little bit off. But yeah, for me, it's just a bit too risky. But if you guys want to try this at home, that'd be awesome. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.